Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another week in GTA Online. This week, there is double cash in RP in transform races and triple cash in RP in the trapdoor adversary mode. The podium vehicle for this week is, as you can see on screen, the 811. So, of course, if you want to spin the wheel and get yourself a brand new car, which has a good top speed and arguably is still one of the higher top speed type of vehicles within its class, then it's worth spinning for. Trying to take this thing around the track is a bad idea because it doesn't like turning at all. For discounts this week, there is going to be 30% off the arcades. And for vehicles, unfortunately, I don't have my usual ways of showing off these vehicles because my mods on PC are currently not working the way they should. So for that reason, we're going to have to deal with uh, shitty screenshots from the website. But no matter, there is 30% off the Divesti 8, the Akula, the APC, the Ruiner 2000, the Volitas, the Super Folito, the Super Folito Custom, the Swift Deluxe, the Swift, and then 50% off the Swinger, the 190Z, the Viserys, the Zavestra, the Rapid GT, the Terrero, the Infernus Classic, the Mamba, and the Sterling. And if you want personal advice this week, personally I'd say if you don't already own an arcade, very much worth picking up one, especially the one La Mesa, you'll be able to get one for I think about the 1.4, 1.5 million mark, which is a very good price for what you're going to be able to earn back within a little bit more than one heist. Casino heists are an excellent way of making money, even outside of bonus events, they are really, really good. And for vehicles, I'd say get a Divest 8 It's still on top of its game, even after the latest batch of DLCs. If you're looking for a very reliable car within stunt races, this is going to be your best friend because it has a high top speed and it really likes tubes. So definitely pick it up if you haven't yet. Another really interesting vehicle to have is the Rapid GT. While it's not the absolute best, it is pretty competitive within its class and it's also really a lot of fun to drive. And the same goes for the Torero and also the Sterling. Two cars that are still relatively decent to have within its class. While it's not something like a Cheetah or a Turismo Classic, it is something new and interesting to drive and can be a little bit of a challenge if you're going against those Turismo and Cheetah classics. Ever to Prime this week, we don't quite know what is on discount, but if that happens to become known, I will leave it in the pinned comment down below. And if you're not yet familiar with Twitch Prime and you want to know more about it, I'll leave an eye in the top right of your screen that will get you to a video to it. Unfortunately, nowadays it's called Prime Gaming, so don't get confused with that one. The pre race for this week is going to be Downtown Underground Lock to Supers. And if you want to definitely have a very good shot at winning this one, then obviously the Krieger or the Amherst is going to be your best friend. Time trial for this week is going to be Pillbox Hill, and the RC time trial is going to be La Fuerta Blanca. And as always, a quick and easy $100,000 if you manage to beat each of them. And if you struggle a little bit with them and you need some more help, I'll be uploading a guide for these later today. But with all that said, and with all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.